Back in 1983, when I was only 15 years of age, my older sister read an article that there were apparitions in Yugoslavia, as it was then, and we just decided to come to try and find out more. When the war started in the 1990s, um, my family and I moved to Herzegovina as refugees. And that's how Medjugorje became a big part of my family's life. Even when I'm guiding people, I always say, Our Lady is the guide. She's the true guide. She's the one in charge. When I came here, I experienced the most amazing peace that I never experienced in 24 years of my life at that stage. If my mother was here today, she'd say it, is that my son left Ireland and somebody else came back because I was actually smiling for the first time ever. I went inside that confessionary and then he say, the first thing before anything he say, oh, I see, you, you bring your luggage with you. And I say, actually, my physical luggage and my whole life luggage. I went to confession and I just felt like I had just been totally power washed inside. I have found I need to give my kids an experience with God that's sort of outside of me and my lens and our parish. We kind of have to get them out so that they can realize what a treasure our family prayers and what a treasure the Eucharist is. And so coming to Medjugorje, they get away and they can encounter God in a new way, just themselves. And then they can come home and they've realize the treasure that it is back home. So different, like if you were told like going to Mass twice a day at home, you'd be like, oh my gosh, like I'm not going. But like here, it's so different, like like Mass even is so nice. I'm not what you call one of these happy clappies, you know, like in the youth festival. I've tried, I'm a dear Scotsman and I'm proud of it. And I think the Virgin Mary's gave me enough signs to make that transition from a life of secularism into a life that's more conducive to holiness. Being a Vietnam veteran in probably the worst situation you can get in, it's been a tough go. I know the Eucharist is in every parish. I know Our Lady's everywhere you go if you take her in the rosary. But there's something different here. She's very much alive here among the people. My prayer was for our marriage to be blessed with this experience and that uh, Mary would touch his heart, that we could really live our married life in union with God, with Christ, with the Blessed Mother, and help lead our family. There's so much goodness, grace, and brilliance in the Catholic faith that we didn't, we didn't realize. Magigoria was like the first chapter. It was the beginning of the book, and then you just keep turning the pages, and you, the more you dig, the more you find how much depth is really there. When the apparition happens, you can feel you can feel the presence of Our Lady, and everyone's peaceful. I think I'll always come back to that moment. Yes, yeah, yeah for sure. You realized why you were on the mountain for 13 hours, because here she is, and it's this peace and this love just is undeniable. When it fell silent, like my heart started beating really fast. When you saw like, Mary oh on the face. Oh my gosh, yeah, like, I couldn't even like think clearly. And I actually had to look away because I was just like, oh my gosh, like it was so overwhelming. But yeah, I'm so glad we did that, that we camped out. And the crowds were really overwhelming, but would I do it again? Yes. It's my fifth year coming. I feel I need to come every year to recharge my batteries. It's just a wonderful place to be, wonderful place to be. I feel like I'll always come back. This place is like, it's home. It's magical. It's magical. Coming here, yes. we love it absolutely. Snatch heads all the way. <laughs> so often I encounter beautiful works, beautiful projects, and, and so often you can trace them back to, to Medjugorje, to people whose lives have been changed here. So I really believe Medjugorje is, is changing the world. What would you tell someone who's never been to Medjugorje? I would tell you who never been, when you heard this, because Mama Mary is calling you, because I was very stubborn, and I finally give it in. Don't waste any time. Please came as soon as possible. The time is short. Your life is not going to be the same. And if you think that you are not worth it, you probably are not, like I am not. But our Lord is not a liar. You are very important to the plan of salvation for the world. I definitely would recommend it.